hi friends this is shaji i hope you are doing well so today i am going to show you how to install ubuntu 20.0 using with oracle virtual box before we start the installation process let me show you how to download and install the oracle virtual box you can download the software from virtualbox.org and select downloads and select your operating system i have already downloaded so i will show you how to install the virtual box open terminal so i'm going to install this package dpkg hyphen i so as we can see that virtual box is there so i'm going to install that sudo privilege is needed so sudo password the installation is started it might take one minute or one or two minutes if you get a dependency error while installing the dev packages you can use uh, sudo apt install hyphen f installation successfully completed so i'm going to open oracle vm yeah it's there and one important thing you have to make sure that virtualization is enabled on your system you can enable in bios only so yeah here it's everything is working so this is basically what you see so i'm going to create new virtual machine so i'm going to create ubuntu it's linux only no need of any changes so next uh, you can assign the ram so i'm going to assign 2 gb next hard disk create vdi hard disk dynamically allocate so we can assign that hard space i'm going to create 20 gb this i'm using only for testing purpose so then start so i'm adding that bootable file here is that ubuntu 210 just select and open choose then start that installation is started So you can see there are two options try ubuntu and install ubuntu try ubuntu means you don't have to install you can use you can use directly so i am going to choose install ubuntu select language and keyboard layout so i'm choosing english and continue install third party then select continue
installation type so there are two options erase disk and install ubuntu then second one is something else uh, if you want a fresh system or you, you don't need any data then you can choose array that first only but if anybody want to uh, create more disk and choose then you they, they can choose that something else but here i'm using only for uh, testing purpose so i'm selecting that first option then install it, install now select the country and continue here we have to fill these much things uh, this is basically only user credential so i'm going to type username your name here you can change that computer name so then password login automatically and record my password into login so i'm not changing anything next installation is started so let us wait for the installation to complete installation is completed so it's rebooted also let's see what changes are in ubuntu 20.04 so if you are coming from ubuntu 19 oh, you won't feel much different in in terms of graphical wise do not disturb this was not there in earlier version so So we can disable all notification. This, uh, this is actually good. This dark mode also, it was not there in early version. It changed to position screen also. We can change to bottom. As you can see, these are the new wallpapers in 20.04. GNOME version also updated 3.3. 360 here we can arrange the folder actually see he can, we can rename also These are the new features in Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.